Hello everyone, welcome to my The Young and the Restless Homies official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The Young and the Restless spoilers for Wednesday, January 24, show that Nikki Newman will praise Jack Abbott for his assistance and claim that it has progressed since she discovered she needed it. Although Nikki drank a few drinks, she'll insist that she wasn't drunk and that there's no need to notify Victor Newman about her latest laps. Jack would argue that concealment makes things worse for addicts, but Nikki does not want to start over with a new sponsor, nor does she want to admit to Victor that she turned to Jack. Jack will continue to dislike the idea of maintaining secrets, but he will agree to attempt Nikki's method for the time being and keep Victor out of the loop. Nikki will tell Jack about what Jordan put her through and explain the situation to Claire Grace. Nikki's visit to Claire in the psych unit triggered unpleasant feelings shortly before her most recent setback, so she'll share her story and seek support. Nikki will hug Jack in thanks and once again receive a vow that he will not say anything to Victor. Nikki will decline Jack's offer to drive her back to the ranch because it will be too late to attend an 8 a meeting and instead request that the Newman driver transport her back. In Claire's room on Wednesday's episode of Y and R, one of the orderlies will bring her a phone and pretend Victoria Newman is on the line. Claire will respond when she is alone and freak out that Jordan is the person she is speaking with. Jordan will warn Claire not to hang up and attempt to, to re-establish her relationship with her great-niece. Claire will refuse to speak with Jordan again, but Jordan will explain that the Newmans will eventually destroy Claire. Claire will continuously insist on Jordan's death before hanging up. Jordan will be furious that Claire shut off the call while returning the phone to the orderly. Claire will crawl up in her bed and cry alone once she realizes the devil phoned her. Adam Newman will become anxious when he overhears Victoria and Victor discussing the possibility of welcoming Claire into the family. Adam will try to apply the brakes because Claire is a mentally sick felon. But Victoria will scoff and act as if he is scared they will all come to love Claire more than him. Adam would reject it, claiming that he does not receive any affection from Victoria and that his concerns are for Jordan. Adam will be alarmed to learn that Claire has visited Jordan in prison, especially because Victoria is unaware of what they said. Adam will speculate that Claire is planning with Jordan or may be pushing for her great-aunt to be accepted as rehabilitated. Victor will reassure Adam that this will not happen and push him to trust Victoria's judgment. Adam will believe Victoria would be more open to his counsel if it came from Nick Newman, but Nick would reply that Victoria has stated unequivocally that her kid comes first. Nick will support Victoria and argue that Adam should let it go now that he's voiced his mind. Nonetheless, Adam is concerned that Jordan will be released from prison and return to pursue the Newmans. Nikki will arrive and reassure Adam that they are addressing the matter, but he will remain unconvinced. Later, Nikki will update Victoria on her visit to Claire, who revealed that she saw the pediatric wing during supervised exercise sessions. Victoria will find it sad that Claire admires the families there, but Nikki will see these walks as beneficial. Abby Newman Abbott will present the notion of joining the board again at Chancellor Winters, prompting Devin Hamilton Winters to reveal he has considered it and approves. Devin intends to write something about Abby's new function and bring it to the board shortly because she provides excellent, honest advice and may be able to assist them defend themselves against Tucker McCall. When Devin asks Abby to go over the details over lunch, they'll go to society together. Daniel Romalotti Jr. will tell Heather Stevens about their tryst and admit that Lily Winters deserves better. Heather will not deny this, but she will also feel that what she shares with Daniel is far deeper. After making another pitch for their future, Heather will offer to let Daniel buy her a late lunch with no strings attached. Heather will be seated with Daniel shortly after Abby and Devon arrive at society. Heather will claim that they are meeting to discuss Lucy Romilotti's schedule before Devon joins Abby at a neighboring table. However, 
A suspicious divan will keep peering across at Daniel and Heather's intimate table for two, leaving Abby perplexed. According to teasers for the young and the restless, Devin is about to make a shocking revelation, so stay tuned. According to the young and the restless spoilers for Thursday, January 25, Chance Chancellor will open up to Billy Abbott, which may result in his revealing something as they try to find common ground. Chance may admit to having reservations about working in the corporate sector, which may explain why he refused to be Billy's mentor. Chance doesn't need another risk factor since he's already pushing outside of his comfort zone. Chance has always felt that he didn't fit in his own family business, and Billy may understand that sentiment. Although Billy's track record isn't perfect, he may point out that he overcame many obstacles and achieved achievement. Billy may eventually persuade Chance that he can be the mentor he seeks. Meanwhile, Devin Hamilton Winters will confront Daniel Romilotti Jr. after noticing him getting too close for comfort with Heather Stevens at Society. We know Daniel's secret will be revealed if he is pressed into a position, so he may confess his treason to Devin and apologize for doing this to Lily Winter. Devin may argue that Lily deserves an apology and advise Daniel not to exacerbate the situation by treating her like a fool. Lily needs to know the truth about Daniel cheating on her with Heather, but Daniel may want to wait until Lily's family problem is resolved and she returns to Geno City. While Devin condemns Daniel for his behavior, Audra Charles will confide in Nate Hastings. By and our spoilers say Audra will reveal a secret, though what will it be? Audra can express her worry about Nikki Newman or discuss her alcoholic father's troubles. However, Audra may discuss ending her relationship with Tucker McCall and realize that it is difficult to leave that complicated chapter behind. Of course, Audra could admit that things blew up with Kyle Abbott, but she might argue that it was nothing compared to the true pain of losing Noah Newman. Audra once felt she loved Noah, and since he's about to return to GC, having her open up to Nate about Noah could be a smart way to set up his homecoming. Regardless, the young and the restless rumors indicate that Audra will reveal a secret, so stay tuned for updates on the information she will disclose with Nate. According to the Young and the Restless Spoilers, Chance Chancellor's work has always been around crime fighting. Whether working for the Feds or Geno City's police department, he's been a good guy, attempting to catch the bad guys. Nonetheless, Chance has decided to put his police badge on hold for the time being and pursue a career in corporate America. How will he fare through this transition? Connor Floyd, who plays Chance, recently spoke with Soap Opera Digest on the character's new career path and how viewers can expect to see a whole new person evolve. Connor Floyd says he enjoys a new challenge and a good change and adds, bring it on. He goes on to note that Chance's themes have included marriage, divorce, police, and crime-fighting work, PTSD, and fatherhood. The actor believes that switching careers will provide viewers with a fresh take on Chance. He also suggests that it will have a new chance that audiences have yet to see, and he is quite thrilled about it all. Working at Chancellor Winters will not only allow Chance to learn about his family's legacy and the business world, but he will also have to navigate the difficult waters of working with Devin Hamilton Winters, the very person who played a major role in breaking up his marriage to Abby Newen Abbott. Plus, with Abby's sights set on a CJ board position, she'll be in his orbit even more. Connor believes that Abby and Devin's affair, as well as the chabby divorce, were swept under the rug and have not been addressed in a long time. He goes on to say that it will be fascinating to see if Chance remains salty about the issue. Mr. Floyd also mentions that Chance will have to work with Abby and Devin on a daily basis, which will be another hardship. According to the young and the restless spoilers, there may be some tension between these three on the sea dotty, but there could also be an interesting depth to this storyline. Actress Melissa Ordway recently revealed in a red carpet interview that Chabby reunion plans would be pursued in the new year. Could Abby develop affections for her ex again? So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. 
And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.